Alright everybody, you know what time it is. It's Saturday night, and it's time for the new episode of Coffee with Conti. So, not really going to be jumping around or anything like that tonight. I'm just going to get straight into the big thing I want to talk about right now. That being Dungeons and Dragons. This coming Thursday, the 17th. So, in the previous videos and leading up to it, I have stated that it's going to be D&D light and all the... No. So, it's going to be light in the sense that it's going to be a one-shot session. Uh, other than that, it's just going to be standard D&D. Um, if you're interested in taking part, awesome. I'd love to have anywhere between like three to five people um so that you know there's more diversity with things going on um i might have to change a couple of the encounters i have planned for the the one shot uh beyond that however uh the rules are going to be in the discord there's a D, &D thread for everything you're going to need to know and basically how to set up characters if you want to use D&D uh, &D Beyond, that's perfectly fine. Matter of fact, it actually helps with keeping a track on things. Um, and it's super simple, super easy to use. Um, barring that, uh, there's not really a whole lot I want to go over. The one thing, however, is if you want to take part in the one shot and potentially me becoming a full-time DM uh, with streams, then you do need to be part of the Discord because it is all over a voice chat. Uh, so there's no need to type anything out or anything like that. <coughs> uh, so yeah, it, it will be very likely for the time being every other Thursday will be in D&D and it'll be all over voice chat depending on how well things go. If you guys want to see more, awesome. Um, I just ask that you kind of take pity on me a little bit, because this is literally going to be the first time I've officially DM'd uh, by D&D &D, uh, presets and things like that. And this is, to make things a little bit easier, uh, the entirety of the campaign, for the most part, is going to be mostly homebrew, uh, as the phrase is. Um, effectively speaking, it's not any place currently set in D&D &D lore. Uh, it is part of the Draco family lore, so there's going to be that as well. That being said, um, pretty much none of the races that are available in D&D &D are going to be off the table. Um, there's no shortage of strange beings in the world of Romakai, so feel free, uh, just for the experienced players out there, like I said, this is the first time I'm DMing, so please try to hold back on the super broken things. Uh, I'm looking at you specifically, Chaos, uh, Mihail, however you want to be called now. Uh, the fact that you're playing a cleric alone has me concerned. I have no fucking clue how the hell that one's going to work out. I've seen all the jokes about clerics and all that. And a team of pure, purely clerics and being able to freaking bully super boss monsters like freaking Tiamat and shit like that. Tr try to take into account the fact that I am literally DMing officially for the first time when you build your characters, uh, or if you plan on making any adjustments to your character mail. Um, but not really a whole lot else to go over at the moment. So this is very likely just going to be a super short, uh, super short session. That aside. Uh, that was the big thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the self-improvement, bringing back the good parts of my past and leaving the negative behind. So far, is going fairly well. 
Uh, things have significantly improved for me, especially where work is concerned. It, I still get annoyed, but I'm not allowing myself into a mindset where I'm going to get angry because A, it's not going to look good on me from any perspective from a colleague. B, it's not good for my heart or for my health in general. I've gotten angry enough to the point in the, pa in the past where I've literally caused myself chest pain. And I don't, that, that's not something I can deal with. Uh, I am, I, honestly, I don't care if you guys know how old I am. I'm 37. I'm going to be 37 in just a couple of weeks. I am too young to be freaking dealing with heart attacks. And if I'm going to beat the narrative, not narrative, that's the wrong word, standard set by my father and grandfather, then I definitely need to live well into my 80s. I don't want to be sitting here freaking dying of a heart attack, which my father did. And my mother affected. Well, my mother suffocated. Effectively speaking, there was cancer involved. Uh, I'm not really going to go into too much more than that. It's there, there's a lot to unpack there for me still. But yeah, so that's that's kind of where I am right now. Um, like I said, things have significantly improved. And I think I may be close to qualifying for the promotion that I've been seeking after for so long. I've been working for closing it on 25 years. And I've never once gotten a promotion in my life. And personally, I, I think it's about due for me to be able to get promoted. Also, on top of that, speaking of work, which doing this really isn't work. I'm literally just talking to you guys. Uh, History of Draco, episode one of Angel Angelus is coming up soon. Uh, I'm very likely... I'm, I'm still debating right now whether I'm, not, I'm going to record it tonight or at some point tomorrow before work or after the gym. Because um, I'm still stuck in Pokemon Legends Arceus trying to find a fucking cherubi uh, literally just need to find one so that I can fucking complete its Pokedex entry beyond that I have like six others I think that I need to finish and then I can finally get fucking Arceus which I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna shiny hunt Arceus I have watched Mark doing it and Poor man is literally at what? What are you at, Mark? Like three, three, four hundred encounters at this point, trying to get Arceus as a shiny. Honestly, I don't even know if it legitimately is available as a shiny, but I think that the. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure if I'm gonna shiny hunt Arceus or if I'm just gonna catch it, because. Uh, I'm sorry, that boss fight alone already looks fucking tedious as hell to catch him. Beyond that, uh, I'm still... I'm, I'm trying to find information about how to legitimately start DMing uh, with as few mistakes as I can potentially avoid. So I might give that priority... But I do promise you that at, le at the very least, episode of one of Angelus is going to be coming out this week. And when I say this week, I mean between when you're listening to this and the next episode of Coffee with Contine on schedule. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a bonus episode or not this week, but that's kind of the only updates that I have for you right now. So that being said, I love you guys. I respect you. I cherish each and every one of you that comes and sits here and listens to me drone on every week. Um, for those of you that are doing this, that came in for Coffee with Contine and stayed for Coffee with Contine specifically, I appreciate you. Um, for those of you that are only listening for History of Draco, awesome. You're going to get your next episode soon too. But I, you know, like I said, 
I do this for you guys on a regular basis. Um, you are the reason why I'm continuing this whole social experiment that I started. Um, and truth be told, I'm actually kind of getting in, kind of getting some joy out of it as well. In addition to the fact that it is also helping me with work. As I'm sure you've probably noticed, there's a lot less stammering and, uh, that, a lot less that going on anymore with these videos. But no matter where you are in the world, wherever you're listening from, whether it's morning, noon, or night, hopefully you got a wonder have a wonderful rest of the day. I love you all, and I will talk to you later.